Good morning. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just stick my head out. Oh, he's cracking on today, first thing. Ooh. All I've done is up to here, look. Yeah, but... Uh, here. Yeah. Definitely come up because still a lot of sort of stuff that just needs rinsing off it as well, isn't there? Yeah. So we're putting up one of these today and one toothbrush. Ideally we need a couple, but we've got shopping coming in a minute, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, I think I have to leave this now. Oh, have ya? I can stay up here until you come back, I suppose. Where have you sprayed? I haven't done over there early. Oh, haven't you? Shall I spray? I need it. Yeah. So this is the solution that Dan made up yesterday. Mm. Pretty good. There's only so much I can reach, mind. So, uh, I'll give it a little brush. Did you sleep well? You must have been knackered last night. Mm. Oh, I slept well, but I'm tired. Mm. I felt it a little bit this morning. We were late admit. up, weren't we? Yeah, I think it was nine o'clock. Dead on nine, actually. So, yeah, we're going to give it a, another go today and hopefully, can't see it being done today. No but, chance. <laughs> but, you never know. I told you, don't rush me. No, I know, I'm not. Why is this moving here? Oh, that's properly moving. Yeah, I know. Why is that? That's just going to come off, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I need to look at it at some point. Ah. Oh. We did actually remove something that was sticking up there yesterday as well, so just trashed it. All right, I'll carry on while Dan sorts this um, shopping out. So that's as much as I can do. I've gone actually quite far back <clears throat> this side, and I've gone quite far back this side. Um, and round the three sides of this um, skylight, I'm getting in. Dan's gone for the shop in. Ooh, oh, my arms aching. <laughs> I bet shut that window. That's that's literally all I can do from that point. Um, yeah, shopping's coming now. I've forgotten what we've ordered, so I hope we've got room in the fridge and freezer for this. Yeah, that roof's going to take time, but. Some people, well, not some, I had read one comment. Somebody said, why don't you just get up there with the jet wash? For one, we don't think anyone can stand up there, but if you can, that's a, we, we don't know. It apparently weakens the roof. Um, I wouldn't want Dan up there personally with a wet, soapy roof, how dangerous. And as for the jet wash, you can't jet wash them old skylights and that roof like that for the fact that you're going to damage and open up a lot of problems with the seals all around our fence and stuff like that, our little skylights. So that's not a possibility really. I mean, if, if you could do it without a, a void going near them, then that's... We haven't got a jet wash anyway. It's not just manpower, graft. <laughs> So then usually I would go out of this skylight, which I didn't do yesterday. I said to Dan, I really didn't sort of want to drop this bed down because it's just a pain, but I will today. And then usually the other, so I can always sort of reach a certain area as well, which helps. And this one also, I usually stick my head out of this one as well. Oh, you can see where he didn't brush that poo properly there, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this one needs opening as well but by opening this we've had problems with this one in the past leaking you're then opening a can of worms really so I don't know we'll, we'll have to open it anyway just so I can get out out of it and also around the um, hole itself the window itself needs wiping as well so i reckon i know dan's not dedicating himself to get this done today but i got a sick sneaky suspicion we could actually have this done today now the weather don't look great oh tesco's fans there weather don't look awfully great today but i tell you what 
I am so warm and it feels so muggy. So it's actually quite a muggy day. Oh, don't even talk to me about going to bed at night, even though we've had the door open and the wind, uh, skylights and stuff. It's been absolutely sweltering in that bed. Shopping's arrived. Fish and chips one night. Load more eggs. Bonus. Then we'll shepherd's pie one night. Got more sausages to do. Um, oh, Scotch eggs. <laughs> and more chicken to do. A chicken as well. Um, chicken strips, more like chicken. Perfect. Oh, where do I put everything? Need to make room. realise we've got a mountain of stuff. I don't remember actually ordering all this stuff. There's five things. Oh, you can put them. <laughs> put them in the fridge. fridge. This is John Smith's toothpaste. Then I found three tubes this morning. Don't ask. I've already had it in the ear roll from him. More paper plates. Can't live without those. Now I bought some cooking chocolate and I'll tell you what I've been craving. Um, Chocolate cornflakes, you know? Or chocolate rice krispies. One or the other, I don't care. They're both as nice. I'm going to do some of that this week. <laughs> as a little treat, we didn't actually buy any chocolate treats. So that will be our chocolate treat. Uh, but we did buy, <laughs> did buy some crisps. 30 of them. Well, it saves going down there every day, sort of picking up two or three bags. And it soon adds up. Dan got those, he likes those. Uh, it's just knowing where to put everything, so. More lime pickle. I eat that literally on the side with every meal I have. I love it. Uh, more of this. Still got a little bit left, but. And we must be the only ones that go through this amount of jalapeno. We go through loads of jalapenos. <laughs> Right, so that's not going to fit in there. I'm going to have to find somewhere for that. Oh, mushy peas, cheese, all different cheeses. Got those breadcrumbs as well because I don't use the southern fried ones for the Scotch eggs. I actually used um, some I've got up in the cupboard that are for Scotch eggs. But I'm running low now on that, so I said to him I'll just use them then. I think southern fried scotch eggs would be weird. <laughs> Last but not least, we got some mushy peas. We got bread and a couple of little bits. Uh, mushy peas, three cans. <laughs> some to go with the fish and chips, but we brought one specifically. Dan was like, let's do pea fritters. Now, usually they would be like um, batter coated, wouldn't they? But we were thinking, let's do some bread crumbed, bread crumbed um, mushy pea kind of fritters. Oh yeah, looking forward to doing that. Right, I'm struggling where to put all this. Let's take a look. See how Dan's getting on. There you get. Oh, you're there. Hello. Hello. Oh yeah, that looks nice now, doesn't it? I've basically done up to here. Uh, yeah. But there's still mucky bits because it ain't washing off properly, but that will come in time. Yeah. And that's been like proper detailed-ish. Yeah, well done. It's looks an awful lot nicer, doesn't it? A bit of a mark The natural there. things you're under, the plastic bits, they're filthy. No, that's not... I, in, no, I've wiped all that. But they are mucky inside. I wiped them again yesterday. Like under here? Yeah, what? I just brushed all that to sm just now. I went up the free... I've seen it's filthy down there. I can't reach it. Yeah, well, I went down there. Look, past that. You hold this. Oh, and I've lost the toothbrush under... It's, oh, it's <laughs> is it? Do you know what I was just reading on um, Google? What? That if you make the switch, because that brush actually, if you make the switch from a Samsung Ultra, what you just did, to a flip, 
you get a free laptop. Well, mine isn't an old. Mine wasn't an ultra. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that is mucky. It's filthy. It? I told you. I went up and down the free side. But you can't see it from where you are because there's a lip. Yeah, but I went up and down there with the brush. Does it? Look at that. And you thought that were clean. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> right, close that window. I'm going to wash it off. Oh, so let me just do it down this side. Give it a little rinse. You better get in then. Quick. Uh, shut no, your window. No, because I you have to shut it. your window. Quick, quick, quick. Three, two, one. Look at all that muck. Sorted. Is that better? Yep. Yeah. Well, it's a lot better than it was, but there's still muck there. Oh, it's never going to get it all. It's hard work from my angle. Oh, that's much better though, isn't it? It needs kind of rinsing while, while this is open. I've just rinsed it. While this is opened, look. We're both doing well. <clears throat> so I have been out of this skylight above the bed and I've been out of this skylight. Oh, what a mucky job. That was absolutely horrendous. Yeah, Dan's trying to rinse that bit off now. I told you, it looks like Dan might be actually getting this finished today. Because <laughs> I think he's just got this side now. He's done really well. Right, let's see what I've done today with the roof. Did more than I expected to do, to be honest. So all this side is done as well as I can do it. I don't know if I can, I'm going to be able to do it better. There's still some spots, but not many. You think how that looked yesterday. It's had a good, good scrub up to halfway. All around this window was ackee. That's scrubbed up well. Just the other side to do, which is a quick, easy job. I might try and get that done today. And then I need different ladders, because I can't lean these anywhere here, to do all in front of that window properly. That's for another day. But yeah, happy. Quite a lot of um, crud has actually come off that though. A lot of crud. Today. Yeah. Show them all that black in front of the drop van. Drop it, drop it. Ooh. All them black spots in front of the van are muck. Yeah. I'll just show floor. you. Oh, on the floor? Where? All them black bits. These? Yeah, really? Muck. Oh, I don't know about that. As you can see, look. This is what it was. It was all lacky around there. So you can see it on the window screen. So quite a lot more crud came off that today. So it's definitely, certainly not ready for a, a full fan wash yet. But I will um, just rinse the muck off the sides. Yeah, it's coming along well. Don't know where else I can show you really. Yeah, he's done well. Can we have a little update on your gun? Me what? On your crappy gun, as you called it. It's rubbish. It's good. It's been getting... You've used it all the way through cleaning in the roof. Yeah, but I don't need it. it I'm get, using it to make you happy. It gets to places you can't get to. What I've noticed, though, come and look at this. Yeah. Cobwebs. Yeah. Loads of cobwebs. <laughs> See them all? This doesn't affect them. <laughs> How strong are them cobwebs? <laughs> I hope we haven't lost Fred. Oh, we will have done. Oh. One thing I have also noticed now, this needs doing once a year to keep on top of it. My lights actually need doing again. I noticed it yesterday. More so that one than this one, but so that'll be another job for another day. But it's always good to keep on top of it, otherwise you end up with a <laughs> right job. So just one bit of advice, so the whole roof has been soaked, a couple of these windows hasn't been opened, but because it's now had a good wash and scrub around some of these, I would always recommend just to come in and then just check that you haven't disturbed like your seals on them and make sure that they're not leaking, especially if they're like as old as ours kind of thing. So they're all looking good. Just go down to this one. So, so far that looks good. Now the rubber does look like it's out there. Uh, pushed out a little bit, so I'll have to see when Dan goes over with the um, 
hose. He still hasn't been able to get this poo off yet. He hasn't reached it yet. Um, I couldn't reach it from opening that up. Now, the reason why I'm talking about leaks and stuff, actually, it reminds me, I'll just check this vent up here as well. No, that looks all good. Yeah, that's all good. That one all good, yep. Is because we did actually have a little bit of a leak coming through here. Now, whether that's because he'd gone down, we've got like this sticky uppy air fence, it's actually an air fence. Now, whether he'd poked the hose sort of direct into it without sort of realizing could have caused that, or it could have been because I had actually removed this to take, we had sellotape on there to hold this on properly, and I've cleaned it. So it could have been because while that was off, maybe water had gone into it i don't know but i'm guessing it's actually that air venty bit up there so you're back where you started <laughs> no. oh you haven't come down this side at all no. oh i see he did find his toothbrush though good job there we have it all done finished finito it's as good as i can get it for now it really is there's black spots, yeah, I could go over them with uh, something else, which I might do, yet. Yeah. Um, I could gloss coat it, yep, yeah, could do that. Neil's suggested something, so I'm going to put that on at some point. Uh, I've sprayed it all off, and now Mazit is spraying it all back on. No, no, there was some black stuff. <laughs> I haven't done the front cabby bit, because there's nowhere to put your ladders, because they, like, sink down. It's yeah. not safe, so... I'll be doing them with other ladders tomorrow probably but yeah happy with that very very happy with that that's as good as it was last time I cleaned it okay. it's whether I want to go any further than that I've got to give it to you though babe you have got an awful lot more stuff off today yeah because I've seen it all coming off the roof obviously and I've been up there with him but it's just taken him actually double the time today it's taking you a lot longer today isn't it yeah so well done you really proud but of you you can tell the difference just on yeah. this rim bit on the top yeah especially on the other side as it's well a massive difference gonna be able to see us from space darling <laughs> so my the big thing i'm waiting to do is test this see if we can get this white yeah we have got some stuff to try we'll yeah that a, we would go one day just discussing when we actually now do the body work we're gonna actually do a lot of detailing on this as well look there's a bit of moss in there that i've missed I really want to try and bring these, this decal up, like yeah. new. You know, that'd be good. Like a gloss finish or something. Yeah, we've got lots of products. Also, you quite often will find you'll get a. What do we call these again, babe? These black marks. Tar. Oh, black tar. Spots. Yeah, black spots. So we quite often get them there and at the bottom of this door because you can feel them, and at the boot. So the whole thing needs detailing as well, especially these rubbers. Uh, this top vent needs a good wash, like the bottom one. Well, I'm going to tell you now, if it ever gets in that state again, yeah, I ain't doing it. I'm going to get one of these guys, I think they're about £1,000, £1,200. To do the room. And they detail it like new. Yeah. It's like new when they're finished, and then they put a gloss, uh, like a ceramic -y gloss thing or coating on which it. Which would protect it then, protect wouldn't it? it? Yeah. So that's my next idea if it happens again. Uh, also with getting watermarks you'll notice if you sit in a certain place for a certain length of time you'll get certain drips coming down at certain places so like here we've got black watermarks coming up there uh, it doesn't really wash off but we've actually got some solution to get rid of that as well so yeah we're gonna do a quite a nice job on this fan by the time it's ready for the MOT. <laughs> well done again today darling. You You've done amazing. One little downfall. <laughs> Can't seem to get this charged and it's stopped working now so Dan should be happy so he thinks but I actually thought that was really good and handy to get to a wider area so ignore what he's saying because he did actually use it for the entire roof all the way through he's clinging but it's finally dead and we have tried charging it and there's no output so i don't know we'll leave it on there for overnight anyway 
It's been a long, hard morning. So I'm going to prepare tea. I've t I promised Dan now some fish and chips. <laughs> delicious. Easy, but delicious. Tasty. So I'm just going to get it in the air fryer. I'm not cooking it, nothing like that. Just sort of getting it on the go. Um, what chips do I have, though? Do you want normal chips or...? Gastro. Normal. Normal. Good. Save me gastro for a different day. <laughs> right, so I'm going to open so I'm going to do two kinds of mashy peas. It's a lot of peas, trust me. But actually, we did both uh, eat them all that day. Right, where's my can opener? So we've actually had somebody uh, quite recently leave in the comments about me making a parcel with the peas or beans or whatever in a foil package um, as they're allergic to metals or something, I have no idea. But um, it's not unusual to make packet parcels with a foil. People do it all the time, don't they? With fish, salmon, load of herbs, bit of butter, dump it on the barbecue and that. I get it. If you're allergic to it and stuff like that, then that's fair play. Uh, we met um, the lovely Steph the other day and um, she was saying how she don't even use an air fryer because of the metals. So we're all different, aren't we? But this is a food-based product and you can make, like, like I said, like fish parcels and stuff like that. So to put some peas or beans in that and heat them up in the air fryer ain't no problem but once again if you're allergic to that then fair play so anyway we're gonna have um the mushy peas chips and peas now i do always like these ones the young's fish and chip shop ones the better ones are actually when you get only two in the box and they're jumbo and they're beer battered but at least with this one you're getting four so oh Somebody tell me, is Dan the only one that likes this? He loves vinegar on his mushy peas, more the merrier. Is that unusual or what? I don't know. Let me know if you do too. So I'm expecting a parcel now in a minute from Royal Mail. I've actually got a couple of leggings coming because I have no more leggings. I had to throw them away before we went on holiday. I had a hole in them. They were really old. So tomorrow you won't see me in my pyjama bottoms. I'll be wearing proper clothes. Right. So also today, I think I'm going to use the little chefry because in this big pan, I'm going to put the two fish and the peas at the back. And in the little chefry, I'm going to do the chips. And I've not used the little chefry yet, so I'm really looking forward to using that. So I'm going to see if my liner is actually going to fit. Do you know what I have noticed though? Is since I've not been using liners, I feel like the food is coming out a lot more crispier and stuff. It's like it's getting underneath. But you then do have a mess. Mm. But that's fine. Yeah, let's get some chips into there. So I think tomorrow, I did plan to today. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do down a homemade chef's pie. It's just as long as we haven't got a lot going on tomorrow. Now that's a lot of chips in that. So that's going to be a test, isn't it? To whether that can cook all that. We'll have to see. I mean, I could do the fish in there, but I think the fish would be too long. Ah, I don't know. Maybe the fish would be better in there. I swapped them over <laughs> so okay it's a little bit small for the length of my fish but I feel like it's going to cook a lot better maybe than a whole huge pan of chips so I've got some chips in there now right that's it until I'm ready to cook what do you mean smile I said smile get out smile have you seen what they've been sending in comments lately with well, screenshots right go on let's, let's have the <clears throat> daily screenshots uh, Joanne, <clears throat> what do you call a bedpan in Russian? Putin. Putin. Some people will be really laughing. You don't even know Putin. Yeah, either. I do, but yeah, okay. Yeah. 
Next. Next. <laughs> right. There's, there's a few actually about mm. the van, so we don't need to go into them because it's fixed at the moment. But I do need to take it out for a drive, make sure the lights don't come back on. That's the worry. So yeah. I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. Uh, what is the most common type of owl in the UK? I don't know. A tea towel. That's just a fact. That's a fact? Okay. I'm really trying to overcome my hiking addiction. I'm doing well, but I'm now not out of the woods yet. <laughs> I like that one. That's a good one. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to find something worth saying. No, you did have one the other day, which I did see, <clears> and you'd mentioned it to me. The uh, Spanish one. Don't know if it's here. It'll be said. If it isn't, it okay. won't be said. Two jump leads walk into a bar. The barman says, "I'll serve you, but don't start anything." Oh, I like that. Yeah. Uh, what did the llama say when he was asked to leave home? Okay, I'll pack up my bags. That's I don't get that one. Alpaca, llama, simile, oh, okay. alpaca, I'll pack right, my yeah. bag. <laughs> and the last but not least, it isn't a joke, it's just a picture I took of me. Of you? Well, of our top. This is 11 months ago, which makes me think it might be 11 months since we last washed the top mm. of our van. And I said to you earlier, it actually looks muckier last time than this time. Yeah. So that is after, that is before. Look yeah. at the muck. So it was really bad last time. And it does say the title was Motorhome Roof Not Cleaned for Two Years. Wow. I need to start doing this more often, <laughs> don't I? Keep I, on top of it. I also think it also depends on when you're, where you're storing it. We were talking about why the other side of this was all greener than the other side, and we've never had that before. And we think it's because there's no sunlight over there. The UV yeah, killing the, the germs. The side, yeah. Killing it's the this sunlight. Up. Yeah. But no, I'm definitely going to keep on top of it now. Uh, this joke I was talking about was the grassy ass one. You would mentioned it to me the other day, but you never mentioned it in a vlog. Don't know. It can't have been very good. It was. You told me off camera about it. Can't have been it can't have been good, otherwise I'd have said it. They're all rubbish. No more jokes. We don't want any jokes. Boo! I think also some people's concerns was by removing the lights that we're actually sweeping things under the carpet. But we actually think we caused the lights to come on because Dan had actually started the engine while we were on hookup. But at this point, you didn't know not to do that, did you? Sorry, we, I wasn't listening. Uh, the the whole lights problem anyway. We haven't got those problems. It just caused some lights to go on, didn't it? We don't know until we we'll give it a ride. Well, there might no, be a problem, don't. but I don't think there is. And talk about sweeping things under the mat, under the rug. As we're pushing things up. I've just brought one of these, a new doorstep. It's. Uh, I want to say it's had it. Don't get me wrong. You can probably still clean it up. So I've just brought one of those proper Fiema ones. So once again, it's just been one of those days, us doing our normal daily chores, getting up, doing the roof again, preparing for the MOT. It's actually been a really good day, isn't it? No, Very productive. Very one produ of the worst days of my year. You've got to admit, though, I never even asked you to get up on that roof today. You did it off your own back. You would have done. No, I wouldn't, because I knew you wanted a few days off. Babe because he did sort of hurt his arm yesterday. Here, look, you might be able to see the headlights now, actually, while they're dry. Hold on. While they're dry, look, you can sort of see this. God, they've gone bad already, haven't they? Got a good product for those, which I've shown many, many a time, so. But yeah, they're bad. You can actually fail an MOT on this, by the way. Not ours, it's not bad enough, but if you let them go really bad, you can actually fail. Coming up tomorrow. What? Apart from having to give this a little run out, just make sure no lights come on. Are we doing that tomorrow? After. Okay. Because if it needs parts, yeah. uh, as friends can help us. Oh, okay. I'm Brilliant. Open. Yeah. <laughs> um, but tomorrow, yeah. no cleaning of a van whatsoever from me. You yeah. can do whatever you want. 
I'm going to play out tomorrow. No, you're doing the full service then. Checking oil, checking mm. waters, checking tyre pressures. Tomorrow, I'm playing out. Playing out where? Where are you going? I don't know. I'll just do whatever I want. <laughs> are you going out with Neil somewhere? No, I'm just going to have a dandy. A dandy? A dandy dandy. Dandy dandy. That could be a... <laughs> thing, that that, that's segment. already a thing. That's a that's a daily thing anyway. A Danny Dan Day holiday. Dandy Dandy. <sighs> I don't know. I might mm. get some out of my cupboard. Mm. Might do the marmite test. Yeah. Might uh, make a spam meal. Don't forget, we've got pea fritters things to make. As I might well. make some pea fritters for you. Yeah, Scotch eggs. I could do anything. You know, the world is my oyster. I can do anything I want tomorrow because I've worked so hard for two days. Nobody can say anything about what I do tomorrow. I'm just going to have fun. It's that time. It's a little bit earlier. We're going to wrap this one up. It's just been a long, hard morning, if I'm totally honest. So the video might be slightly shorter than usual. Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? I want to go to Copenhagen. Copenhagen, yeah. why? I just do. Denmark. Mm. Apparently it's really nice. Okay. When? How? I don't know. As soon as pos. Oh. <laughs> we ain't finished with the van yet. Don't be looking for holidays. You should be looking for new wheels and tyres and stuff that the van needs. We need to earn money to make exactly. money to buy these things. And at the moment we're not making the money to buy these things. Exactly. So don't be spending before it even comes in. Right, wrap this one up. Hold on, me first. There you go. <laughs> Come on.